Broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. All right. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Coffee with Marcus. And Mark is with me in the room here, but this morning we are going to do something really special. This morning we will broadcast live on Facebook, and yes, we will do it with a camera. So what I'm doing right now is popping in um, a link into the chat box. So you see right now, if you go to facebook.com slash Rockwell Trading, I will start the live stream here in a second and hopefully you can all see me there and this is where and how we wanna get started. How does that sound? Something new, it's something that I always wanted to try and uh, why don't we give it a shot and see how it works. So hop on over there and I will go live there right now and then I will also uh, share my screen obviously here so you will see my screen here but on Facebook you will see me live on camera so don't know if that's a pretty picture if you want to do it but if you want hop on over there and I will see you in just a second over there and then we get started All right, it says it is connecting. There we go. All right, good morning, everybody, and welcome to Coffee with Marcus. This is our first session on Facebook Live, and if there's anybody here, and especially my team, let me know if you can see me, if this works on Facebook Live. It should have started a live stream right now. Now, while I'm waiting for confirmation that this works, you might see behind me that there's a lot going on, and yes, I should have cleaned up didn't do it this morning because this is an experiment. We want to see how this is going. So let me take a look at the computer here really quick. And uh, fantastic. It is working. All right. This is exciting. So I'm excited to see you here. And we'll go through our usual copy with Marcus routine. And I'm going to share my screen here in just a moment. And I promise that somehow in the next few days, I will clean up this little mess behind me. So Hopefully it's not too distracting and glad that you're here. So if you have any questions, pop them right into the comments box right below here. So I'm gonna switch over here to the computer and uh, let me just share my screen. Uh, there we go. All right, fantastic. So here right now you see the markets this morning and as you can see this morning we are slightly up in the upper left we are looking at the e mini s p right now up point uh, 0 0.616 percent this is not easy with the camera and the charts uh, but i just wanted to try it and you guys tell me if you like it here anyhow the nasdaq also same here slightly up this morning so is the dow uh, we then have crude oil. Yesterday, crude oil had a wild ride, and this morning it seems to continue. So this morning, crude oil is on the rise, and we already had a first trade in crude oil, and we're going to talk about this trade here in just a moment. Also, gold here pretty much at, at, around the unchanged mark, and so are bonds. So let's take a look at the trading here this morning. As you know, uh, between 9 and 10 a.m. Uh, Eastern time, we like to trade the Seahawks strategy on the mini S&P and on crude oil. And yesterday, uh, we had no trades in the e mini S&P and we had three trades in crude oil and in crude oil We had two losing trades and one winning trade. So let's see where we stand this morning After yesterday two losing trades one winning trade. We had another winning trade already this morning in crude oil This is what you see here. So you see that we are slightly up. We're up uh, $60 here. Uh, we are trying to get into an e mini S&P trade right now. Both markets are pulling up all right, so this is what the markets are doing here this morning. Now, as see, I'm going back and forth between the charts and talking to you. And uh, let me just see if we have any questions that I can answer here uh, for you. And uh, the easiest way probably is doing it on Facebook. So if you have a question, just say a like, maybe a thumbs up or type in a comment uh, that I can answer your question. Otherwise, I have a, you know what, let's, let's do this. I have a really, really interesting discussion that I want to show you that I recently had. <clears throat> so let me do the following. Let me share my screen here and uh, head over to the Rockwell Trading VIP Facebook group. So let me do this. Uh, so I'm going to do this both 
right here in GoTo, and I need to switch it over with this uh, fantastic software here. There we go. All right, fantastic. So right now we are inside <clears throat> the, the Facebook group. Um, this is the private Facebook group for our customers. And uh, as you can see, let me just uh, head over here. Uh, this is where a couple of days ago, uh, Francis posted uh, this comment and say, today as we give thanks, I'm very thankful for the incredible mentorship from Marcus and Mark. Let me just make this a little bit bigger to make it easier to see here. <clears throat> Happy Thanksgiving. And uh, so Scott responded and said, yes, absolutely. And Shannon said, yes, uh, thank you. And uh, then we had Mary, and uh, I, I don't know Mary. And uh, Mary, since you posted it on Facebook, I'm sure that it's okay that we are sharing it here, right? Everything is on Facebook is public here. So um, Mary said, Francis, I wish I had your luck. And then posts a lot of emoticons. Uh, most of them pretty sad, right? So um, Francis responds to this, and uh, then I also decide to to chime in and uh, say, because you see Mary keeps keeps talking about how she's not making any money and how she's losing money. And there's another comment from Mary. Um, anyhow, so I, I decided to chime in and uh, say, hey, Mary, tell me more. What's happening? Because as you know, I'm here to help you to become the trader you want to be. And this is where Mary said, I can't catch a break. Everybody makes money except me. I think there's a curse hanging over my head. I follow the rules, even in binary, and I start out winning. I lost it all back. Did the future thing, lost a couple grand. Oh, dear. Uh, I've had the same problem with Forex, which I stuck with for over 12 years. Lost $50,000 up to $100,000. Lost count. What is my problem? Why me? And again, a bunch of sad emoticons. And this is where I said, OK, uh, you know, let's take it one step at a time. And I, I want to know what's happening. Right. And I understand. You see, I've been there. I've been there when I was desperate and I thought, oh, dear Lord, this will never work with trading. As you know, in the beginning of my trading career, I did lose money. And yes, I lost half of my account, not as much as Mary here, because I started with a smaller account. I started with twenty thousand dollars. and and traded down to below $10,000. But you see, when you lose half of your account, this is when you say, why can I make money? Why can everybody else make money and not me? And uh, th so this is why I want to see what's going on here. Uh, so I wanted to see, when did you stay, uh, start trading binary options? Are you taking every trade? Or are you missing some trades? And what do you mean when you say, I did the futures thing? Uh, because the more specific you are, the better I can help. And so uh, Mary said, don't remember the dates. I would have go through my emails, find the receipt. Uh, by the way, is the font big enough? Can you, can you easily read it? Or do I need to make this a little bit bigger? I can actually. Look at this. Let's do this. Um, OK, taking every trade for every binary. I didn't know I had to do this. Didn't read that anywhere. Well, I hope that you have joined Coffee with Marcus and has heard me saying that <laughs> consistency is important, right? You got to take every trade according to your plan. Anyhow, so back to this here. Um, didn't read that anywhere. Also, when I wrote in, no one ever said to me until now, you didn't mean to say futures. That was with Carlos futures trading class meant to say stock trades. And again, a bunch of sad emoticons. Um, so this is when I said, uh, you see, Mary, the most important thing, as you already know, because you have been with me for a while, is consistency especially with trading you cannot pick and choose right uh, if you decide to trade binary options you need to take every trade that we send and if you choose to trade another strategy make sure that you test it on a simulator and after at least 40 trades you've got to practice on a simulator for at least 40 trades after 40 trades you can evaluate the performance if you like the results you're getting on a simulator then start trading it live with the smallest size possible and so I asked her, I said, Mary, how many practice trades did you do before you committed real money to the strategy? And uh, I, I mean, this is nothing new for you, right? I mean, you have been following me for a while. You know that this is what I'm saying over and over and over again. Anyhow, so uh, Mary did respond. And it seems that she removed her post, but I still have it in my email. 
And uh, Mary, it's absolutely fine if you remove a post, uh, but you see, it's an important learning lesson. And, and Mary, what I want to show you, if you're watching here, I, I want to make sure that you understand what you're doing wrong, because that was your question, right? Your question was, what am I doing wrong? Why can't I catch a break? So I'm here to help. And uh, here is what Mary said. And I have to jump over to my email, uh, because this is where I'm getting these emails. So this is where Mary responded to where I said, how many practice trades uh, did you do before you committed real money? Mary said, oops, oops, forgot about this. Was so excited to receive everything. Couldn't wait to get started and make money like everyone else. Didn't know I had to prove it to myself first. SMH, no idea what SMH means, honestly. I, I don't know all these uh, abbreviations and shortcuts here. But yes, Mary, exactly. You got to prove it to you. You got to prove two things to you. You got to prove to you that first of all, you understand the strategy, right? And that you can execute the strategy. You also want to make sure that the strategy actually works in the way that you execute it. Because that's another thing, as you know, right now we are trading here the E-mini S&P and crude oil between nine and 10 o'clock and uh, we are using the Seahawk strategies. Now, we have many students, especially in our inner circle and mastermind, who are modifying it slightly based on their availability to trade. We have, for example, a guy who is trading in the middle of the night because that's his availability right now. So he's trading from, I believe it's two or 2.30 in the night till four or 4.30. So he's also trading crude oil and he's also trading the Seahawk strategy, but his results are slightly different because he's trading it at a different time. Is this making sense? So this is why it's so important that you trade your strategy. And I know it is so easy to get excited. You see, this is what happened to me many, many, many years ago when I was losing money. I was always looking for a new strategy. And when I had a new strategy, I hope now I can make all the money back that I lost previously, right? And this is where I wanted to make sure that right now, that's what we're gonna do. Uh, and I started trading in life without testing it. Huge, 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 big mistake. So don't do this always, always, always. When you have a trading idea, when you have a trading strategy, test it first on a simulator, right? And you need to have at least 40 trades. After 40 trades, you can evaluate the strategy and then see if there's something that you want to commit real money to. All right, uh, let's see. I hear a few things uh, popping up. And uh, I want to go back here to uh, the, the questions that are coming in. And again, I have to, to switch between screens here. <laughs> All right, fantastic. Okay. So the talk is overlapping with go to meeting. Okay, so you see, this is the point. If you like this, if you like this interaction, if you like to see me live and seeing my screen here, I'll be happy to make sure that we are switching over to Facebook live stream here so that you can see me. And we're gonna switch over to the charts here in just a minute. Right now, I'm just simultaneously broadcasting because some of you are still on go to meeting following us there and others are uh, probably already here on Facebook, which I appreciate. So. Let me know if you like this uh, this Facebook interaction, if you if you like to, to see me in the morning and uh, see my mess behind me, and I promise it'll get better. So let's, uh, let's go back to the charts and let's see what is happening here. So I'm gonna uh, switch over to the charts. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Here we go. And I'm gonna switch it over here on Facebook as well. There we go, fantastic. So here's where we are. And uh, let's take a look at our trades here right now. As you know, we already had a winning trade in crude oil. Right now we are in the next trade. And the next trade here right now, we are slightly down. We are down a few bucks. And again, if this trade turns out to be a losing trade, then we will double up on the next trade in the same way as we did yesterday. And as you can see, at points trading might be boring because we're doing exactly the same thing every day. And uh, this is why I wanted to bring up the discussion with Mary here and I'd say, absolutely. We want to make sure that we are consistent because once we are consistent, then we can increase the lot size. Then we can trade more contracts. So we have uh, this trade going on. So we are in a trade here right now. We also have the E-mini S&P where we're trying to go long at 26.04 and a half. So uh, let's just see how this works out here. And uh, 
or we can spend a few minutes here on Facebook Live together. And I, I'm pretty excited about this. Uh, I, I, I am excited to, through this, this camera, basically come into your living room or your office or, I don't know, maybe you're watching it right now on a, um, on a tab tablet or a mobile phone. So I'm, I'm glad that I'm with you here. And uh, I must say, this is very exciting. We will also, of course, post the recording here uh, in the usual places. So we will post it on YouTube. So for those of you who are right now in GoToWebinar and cannot see the video, we're going to post it here on YouTube and we'll send you the link a little bit later today so that you can see it in case you missed it. All right, so the two trades, uh, the, the trade that is going on here right now at around the break even point. So let's see how, how this works out. And uh, we have the e mini S&P trade where we try to get in and we are still three ticks away. And uh, markets opened five minutes ago, but as you can see, a pretty uneventful opening that we have here this morning. Even the S&P just hanging in there. So let's see, I wanna wait a couple of more minutes before we, we close coffee with Marcus and the live stream here. Um, but right now I'm just so excited about, uh, about doing it. <laughs> I wanna do it a little bit longer, right? <coughs> By the way, this morning when I was setting up everything, I got so busy that I actually forgot my coffee. So uh, yes, coffee with Marcus without a coffee. What do you know? Uh, so anyhow, uh, let's see. In the Umini S&P, we have been touched here. So the order has been touched, but we have not been filled yet. And as you know, this is exactly how it works with limit orders. It is first in, first out. And we are in line with, as you can see here right now, another 900 people. It looks like we get another uh, winning trade in crude oil. Let's see. I mean, never say too early, but at least it is moving in the right direction. And you know what we like to do here? Want to cover up the bottom so that the trade can only go up. It's a trick. Okay, let's see. So we need two more ticks. I do believe that uh, we have been as high as 87. So we have been a tick away uh, from getting our possible profit target. And if so, uh, trading just single contracts. And you see, that's a beautiful thing. You can trade a single contract on a $5,000 to $10,000 account. So if you have a rather small account and want to get started, day trading might be the way to do because this is where uh, only five to, to $10,000 are enough. Okay, in the mini S&P, we got in and right now we are only looking for a two tick profit target. So yes, this is what we call a scalping strategy. And uh, come on, get us filled here. Want to get in and out rather quickly. And uh, again, it's all about consistency because here is the deal. Let's see. In both markets, we are about to get filled here. In the e mini SP, we are filled. So $25. And uh, again, this is where we'll talk about it in a moment when we are trading size. Uh, again, let's just see if we can get out of the crude oil trade. So here's what I'm going to do I'm just talking about the crude oil trade as if it was a winner. Because uh, that's the other thing that we saw with Mary here this morning. You see, the mindset is so important. When you're asking yourself every day, what is wrong with me? What is wrong with me? What does your mind say? Your mind say there is something wrong with you, right? So we want to have a positive attitude. And we'll probably talk about this tomorrow. All right. So here we had the, the two trades in crude oil both worked out. So we are up $120. And here we are up $25. So total right now, $145. And here's what I want to think of you about. This is what you can do on a small account of five to ten thousand dollars. As your account grows, you can trade larger size. So even right now, it's only one hundred forty-five dollars, and it might not be exciting for you. How about if you're trading ten contracts? Right, ten contracts, it would be one thousand four hundred fifty dollars, and this is when the fun starts. Or what about twenty contracts? But here's the deal. This is exactly what I said, Mary, earlier. Trade with the smallest size possible until you see that you're consistently profitable. And when you are, then you start increasing the contract size. And you know that uh, if you're a member of the Rockwell Trading Club, that we have the money management in there that shows you exactly how to do this. All right, well, this is what I had for you today. So this concludes uh, Coffee with Marcus and our first ever Facebook Live. Hope you enjoyed it. I hope you're having fun and we'll see you again tomorrow. All right, until then, take care. And now I gotta figure out how to finish this. There we go. See you later.